Hello and welcome to another episode of Double Barrel Gaming. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and today is part three of the Report Card Grade 2017 series featuring Nintendo. Last but certainly not least, the comeback kids of the video game world. Who knew you can strike lightning in a bottle three times? Nintendo did it with the Wii and the 3DS, both ultra successful devices. March 3rd, 2017 was the day that Nintendo Switch was made available to the general public and it has been nothing but fire since its launch. Some may be wondering, why am I talking about Nintendo last? It's certainly not because they're in last place. As a matter of fact, since March, the Nintendo Switch has been coming in first place each and every month on the MPDs. What makes this system so popular? Is it because it's the first hybrid system to date? Maybe it's because it's the most well-constructed, forward-thinking gaming console since the Wii that Nintendo has made. Portable gaming has been Nintendo's forte for years. What they have done with the Nintendo Switch, though, is simply amazing. Being able to take your Switch on the go or simply dock and play at home has been a huge selling point of this magnificent piece of technology. As of this writing, the Nintendo Switch has surpassed lifetime sales of the Nintendo Wii U. That in itself is a feat that is rarely seen in console sales. Since March of 2017, the Nintendo Switch has sold over 15 million units. Absolutely astonishing. Let's talk about what makes Nintendo so special. It's their first party lineup and that should come off as no surprise. When you have the likes of Mario, Link, Samus, Pikachu, Kirby, Star Fox, and Donkey Kong in your stable of characters, you can understand why there were people like myself who received their first Nintendo when they were 15 and are still buying their products at the age of 47. One of the stigmas that Nintendo struggled with even before the launch of the system was what third-party companies were going to support the Switch. Turns out quite a few of them. In the last few months, we've seen launches of Doom and Skyrim, which look fantastic on the Switch. But let's be honest, you didn't buy a Nintendo Switch because you wanted to play Doom or Skyrim. Those are added bonuses, but most gamers that I know have the Nintendo Switch as a second or even third system in their home because of the first party exclusives that Nintendo brings to the table with every console release. So the question is, what console exclusives launched in 2017 that made the Nintendo Switch as great as it is? Here's the list. Snipperclips, 1-2 Switch, Zelda Breath of the Wild, ARMS, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, and the granddaddy of them all, Super Mario Odyssey. And that's just the big releases. Let's talk about some of the smaller ones that were available on the software store. Implosion, Infinite Mini Golf, Ultra Street Fighter 2, Poyo Poyo Tetris, Snake Pass, Fast Racing RMX, Blaster Master Zero, all smaller titles, but every one of them were absolutely fantastic. The unknown for the Nintendo Switch was its software lineup and what games were going to be made available in 2017. Well, there were a ton of games to play and with the recently announced Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, and Street Fighter 30th Anniversary coming out sometime next year, there's a lot to be excited about. Now we're going to be talking about hardware. It's common knowledge that the Nintendo Switch is just about as powerful as a vanilla PlayStation 4 or Xbox One launch system. But again, let's not fool ourselves. We didn't buy this system for power. We bought it because it's a new Nintendo product and its portable possibilities have us all extremely excited. The Joy-Cons are sturdy controllers that slide onto the side of the system. What makes them fascinating is that even in their small size, when removed, can be used by two different players extending the fun of using the system on the go. It's the kind of portable console that could light up an entire room, and that in itself is magical. The 6.2 inch screen on the console is vibrant and colorful, even for people who wear glasses. One of the few complaints is the system's battery life when you take it on the go. 
If you're playing a graphic intensive game like Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll get about three to five hours on a single charge. Something Nintendo could address with an updated version of the Switch, hopefully sometime in the future. If using the Joy-Con isn't your thing, the Switch Pro Controller may be the best controller Nintendo has ever made. It is extremely sturdy, very well built, and has a battery life of 20 plus hours on a single charge. With the long list of things that made the Nintendo Switch not only a great purchase, but a great product, we now have to talk about some of its low points. The accessories that are available for the Nintendo Switch are very pricey. A pair of Joy-Cons with tax is nearly $90. The excellent and well-made Pro Controller is nearly $80 with tax. And should you want another dock for another room in the house, it's over $95 with tax. The peripheral prices are remarkably expensive. Another huge hit that the Nintendo Switch took was its online service. Trying to voice chat with your friends looks like something that would come out of Dr. Frankenstein's lab. It's convoluted and frustrating to set up. This has always been Nintendo's Achilles heel, and you would think they would have learned something in past system failures. If you owned the Wii or Wii U, the Virtual Console was the biggest selling point for those systems. Being able to play Nintendo games from every era on current gen hardware was something that many fans, including myself, looked forward to. Unfortunately, the Switch has yet to launch its Virtual Console and many gamers felt let down. We are still waiting for the Virtual Console to launch officially on the Nintendo Switch and hopefully that will happen sometime in 2018. Nintendo has been on a roll since it's launched its NES Classic in the fall of 2016. To say that Nintendo is having a monster year would be greatly understated. With the success of the NES Classic in 2016, they followed it up with the Super NES Classic which launched after the Switch to rave reviews. Everyone is holding their breath to see what new Nintendo Mini is coming out in 2018. Fingers crossed, we're all hoping we get an N64 Mini. Well, I think it's safe to say the positives for the Nintendo Switch certainly outweigh the few negatives that the console had during its first nine months on the market. I have enjoyed my Nintendo Switch since the day I purchased it, and though I don't use it every day, it is something I look forward to going back to. I'm very excited to see what Nintendo has in store for its fans in 2018. I'm going to happily give the Nintendo Switch an A. It's a well-deserved score, and quite frankly, being a Nintendo fan since the age of 15, I'm happy to see them succeed. A healthy Nintendo makes a healthy gaming market. I hope you enjoyed this three-part video series of grading the big three. Large content is something I'm looking forward to doing in 2018, and I hope that you come along for the ride. For today's Community Spotlight, we're going to be talking about Rage Virus X, also known as Big Red. Rage Virus X comes to us from Alberta, Canada. He's 27 years old and has been gaming and into tech for as long as he could remember. NES was his first system playing a ton of Mario Brothers, but he also enjoyed Sonic on the Sega Genesis. Some of his all-time favorite gaming memories is where he spent countless hours playing StarCraft on PC, Metroid Prime on the GameCube, and Smash Brothers on the N64. One of his favorite YouTubers is Colt Eastwood. According to Rage Virus X, he puts a ton of time into his content and it shows, and that's why he's his favorite. The games that he's been playing in 2017 and have occupied most of his time are PUBG, Assassin's Creed Origins, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Battlefield 1. His favorite console to date easily is the Xbox One X, and he's looking forward to just about every game slated for 2018 on all three major consoles. I've had the pleasure of talking with Rage Virus X for the last six months on Twitter, and he is a solid member of the community. I encourage everyone that watches this video to hit him up on Twitter and give him a follow. You can find him at RageVirus underscore X. You can also add him to your friends list by typing in Rage Virus Space X on Xbox Live. I will supply the link below in the show notes. If you enjoyed today's content, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel. All of the likes and subs truly help grow the channel. 
2018 is going to be a great year for gaming, and I intend to bring you new and interesting content each and every week. Thanks again for tuning in. Have an awesome day.